What is up, my Autodesk community? It's the Revit Guru here, aka Revit Ryan, with some more tips and tricks for your everyday uses in Revit. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a floor plan based off the architectural background. I'm going to be showing you how to copy monitor grids, copy monitor levels, create that floor plan, and place it on a sheet, all based off the architectural background. And after today's video, go ahead and check out the playlist because I'm going to put all the videos in a row so you guys can set up your own basic Revit project based off my videos. So please hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, hit that subscribe. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what else I can help you out with. It's the Revit Guru, AKA Revit Ryan, and let's get into creating those floor plans. Okay, my Autodesk community, as you can see here, I already have a background linked in. I suggest you take a look at my previous videos on how to link and set up a background here. As you can see, it's in my Revit links here on the project browser. And Revit templates, uh, give you a floor plan already in your template but these are not the floor plans that are actually from your background so we're gonna show you how to basically copy monitor those over and this is some of the first steps I like to take once my background linked in so I'm gonna cut a section here up from the top we just grab a section we're gonna cut a big section across the middle here okay and what's that, what that is going to allow me to do is just see how many floors are actually a side view basically how many floors are in the project okay so once I cut a section here I can see what floors the background has linked in here and see see how I select it, it highlights all of them by themselves it's one big linked in project right now and so basically I don't own quote unquote those levels yet we do have a couple levels that are that are ours but i'm going to show you how to copy monitor so to copy monitor make sure you come up to the collaborate tab we're going to come down on the ribbon to copy monitor once it drops down we're going to hit select link now this is going to allow us to select our background link we're going to select that background link. We're going to click it once and it's going to put us into this copy monitor mode. Now, what's important is we're going to come up here and hit copy. Once we hit copy, we want to make sure we check this multiple box and that's going to allow us to select multiple levels or whatever we're copy monitoring. So now we're going to be able to select multiple levels here. All I'm doing is holding control on my keyboard and selecting multiple levels so that I can grab them all at one time. And as you can see, they're highlighting in red here. Okay, so now once I've got all my levels selected, this next step is important as well. I like to call it little finish, big finish. So you're going to come up here and you're going to hit this little finish right here, okay? But we're not quite out of it yet. See, so what's it, what it's going to do is like copy over the levels. Don't worry about that warning. And then um, we're going to come up to the ribbon again and we're going to come over to copy monitor mode again. And this is the big finish. So this is important. We want to hit little finish big finish and make sure we always hit that multiple when copying otherwise we're not going to be able to select multiple levels now as you can see I can own I quote unquote own these levels now now what's important here that I did not show you you're going to want to delete out those original floor plans that plumbing one and plumbing two from the actual section I'm gonna go ahead and delete them out of my project browser here but in order to really delete them and get them out of your project, you want to delete them from the section. Otherwise, your equipment or something might, might get attached to it, and that might become a problem later on. So the next step we're going to want to take is now create those floor plans from the levels we just copy monitored in. So now we're going to come up to the ribbon, go to View, come down to Plan Views. We're going to select Floor Plan, okay? And now you're going to see the names of those levels that we just copied into our project so I like to select them all you can select them all if you want you can select one at a time if you want and they will come in one at a time but basically you want to try and get all the levels from the architects background into your project and as you can see they're they're named what the architect or whatever the discipline is in your background so I'm gonna select the ones that are actually from the background itself not the ones those are repeats there that I didn't delete out from that section okay so we're gonna actually hit OK and now all those levels come in basically as floor plans into my project browser so now they're in my project browser as you can see here I'm going to click on some of one here's maybe like a finished floor plan here's a level one here's a lower level 
you know, and then here we, we got maybe a roof level. Okay, so whatever levels you want to base your plan off of, you're, you're going to go based off of these levels here. And I, I typically like to copy them and make new ones, but I'll show you how to do that process here in just a second. So I have a sheet already created. Revit gives you kind of like a, you know, generic sheet. You can bring in your title block. I suggest watching um, some of my other videos for that. So again, I like to duplicate the view with detailing. What I did is just right click and duplicate the duplicated the view with detailing. You don't want to use that same view. You want to kind of have your own view to play play around with, if you will. So I just copied the level one view and I'm going to rename it to whatever I want to rename it to. OK, and you guys can get crazy and order your project browsers by discipline, by sub discipline, things like that. And I'll make more videos on how to do that as well. Please feel free to leave comments below on um, other things you guys would like me to touch on. So here I'm just creating new uh, roof plan, new floor plan, just kind of getting a generic set together here. Again, I don't like to use, you don't want to use those floor plans that come in and rename those. Otherwise they will rename the levels in the project, in the actual project. And you don't want to do that. You want to kind of like have them as independent views. So I'm going to come back to my sheet, make sure I have my sheet here. And it's really, really simple guys. All you're going to do is grab one of those views you just created and you're just going to drag it onto the sheet. Boom. We're going to drag it onto the sheet. Now I know it looks a little funky. Don't worry. I'll show you how to fix it here in a second. Once we click into the view, all we're going to be able, we're going to be able to adjust the scale and all that. So now I'm actually inside of the view. I double clicked inside of the view. Now you're going to come over here to your, uh, properties and you're going on you're going to want to click on these three items here basically it's crop view crop region and annotation box and that's going to kind of give you like a little border if you will around your floor plan and it's going to be be able for you to easily adjust the size of your view or what section you want to actually show what portion of the building you want to actually show so as you can see i can move it a real easily around with the nodes but what i like to personally do is just double click on it and it comes into like you know it's automatic editing mode and i'm just going to draw another square here to actually outline the building itself and then i'm going to delete that other one and as you will see it will automatically adjust to where i want it boom so there you go and now that it's adjusted to like the actual uh portion of the building i'll be able to like easily move it or show it and we we want to adjust the scale. Make sure you come down here to the bottom left. And this is actually going to be what the scale is. So it's got all sorts of scales here, as you guys can see. And we can even get crazy and customize the scale, but I won't go into too much detail about that. That's really just how it appears on the sheet. All I'm gonna do here, guys, is just deactivate the view. So now I can actually move it around on the sheet. So I'm gonna put it kind of centered on the sheet and what I want to show you guys next here is a little bit about viewports if you just click over here to the left you kind of get a generic viewport that Revit gives you and really all it is is just the title of your view that you've just placed onto the sheet usually we put these at the bottom now I can move it around separate by itself once clicked once but when I click on the actual whole view it will move with the whole view so as you can see I can move it by itself if I just click on it by itself now I think if I click on the sheet on the actual view here you can see it move up with the actual view itself now it's kind of tricky I know once you click on it by itself you can move it around by itself but you cannot adjust its size to adjust its size you have to click on the whole view itself and this little node will pop up on the right side and that will allow you to adjust the line of your viewport viewport sorry guys i don't mean to be too confusing there basically hold on it by itself to move around click on the whole view itself to adjust the size of it so i just double clicked in the view kind of to adjust it to clean it up a little bit show you guys the annotation crop outline nothing outside that outer rim will show so basically it's like just text and and stuff like that so the next step we're not quite done yet the next step to kind of finalize the floor plan sheet up i guess you guys as you can see it's kind of clean we laid, laid it on the sheet already we actually created the levels we're going to want to copy monitor the grids from the architectural background so again up and collaborate 
come down to copy monitor and we're going to basically take the same steps as the levels. We select the link in the background. We're going to come up to copy on the left hand side and make sure we hit that multiple check mark and we're going to take the same steps. We're going to hold control and we're just going to highlight all the grids here. As you can see, they're highlighted in red. And now I'm just copy monitoring all the grids over just like I did with the levels so we can kind of like quote unquote take ownership of them ourselves and adjust them again little finish big finish so hit that little finish we're not quite done don't worry about that uh warning over there come up to copy monitor on the right hand side as you can see we're still in the mode and we want to hit that big finish so again copy multiple multiple highlight whatever you need to little finish big finish now that you quote unquote own the grids it's important here here's a little tip I'm gonna right click on the grids themselves select entire project so I have all the grids highlighted and I want to hit this little pin right here and that just allows me to not move them around when I'm trying to actually place equipment or do whatever work in my my project itself itself because we don't want to move those grids around and same thing with your background link I would do the same thing with your background link click on any background link and pin it in place because you may accidentally copy it or move it and uh, not know and then that again that can be a pain later on so you will if the architects levels or grids or anything you've copy monitored over moves you will get a coordination review and I'll go over coordination reviews later but basically all we're gonna do is recreate a new sheet and repeat that process all over. So there you have it my Autodesk community you should be able to create your own floor plan based on whatever background you have linked in there architectural mechanical electrical structural whatever just be sure to cut a section copy monitor those levels place that floor plan on the sheet copy monitor to those grids and there you have it now be sure to check out the playlist I create because it's going to put all the videos in order for those beginning Revit you should be able to start your own basic project based off the videos on on my channel and please feel free to leave a comment below let me know what else I can help help you out with it's the Revit Guru here aka Revit Ryan hit that thumbs up hit that bell hit that subscribe and again leave a comment please let me know what else I can help you out with Autodesk community I'll see you next video